All right, this is a quick review uh, on Burlington 41 Arcade. Um, this scent, from what I've been told, is only in a few stores. It's from, I think it's called Atkinson's. Uh, but anyway, I got prepared a sample when I was in the store picking up uh, a fragrance for my woman. I ended up getting about seven or eight samples while I was inside of the store. I do recommend you trying to get samples if you're out making purchases or even if you're just looking and you see someone who would possibly um, let you receive a few samples. And I'm not talking about the samples that they already have in stock. Yeah, those are cool too, but getting made specific samples of things that you would like to have or like to smell. You know, that's just something that I would recommend if you're considering purchasing certain fragrances, especially ones that are way more expensive. So <clears throat> this is a sample of Burlington 41 Arcade. Uniquely enough, when I got this sample, I came home and my woman had a sample of this same exact thing for me. That was crazy. That was very crazy. And it was packaged totally different. It was like a manufacturer's, I guess, sample or whatever. But <clears throat> in store, I thought that this sample smelled uh, amazing. Well, I won't even say this sample. I thought this scent smelled amazing when they popped open the top or whatever and I smelled and I was like, dang, this is unique or whatever. It's about one o'clock. PM. I sprayed this on at about 7 a.m. Uh, really don't smell it anymore. A little squirt. But uh, I feel like it's one of them scents like I don't want to say it smells better in the bottle but Kind of smells better in the bottle. And it smells good on my skin, and it could just be me. It's, it's not performing the best. It's not performing the best. Um, it definitely doesn't have longevity. I don't even think the projection is not that great to me. Now, this is still an early, I guess, first time out the box kind of review, what you could say. But I like the scent, I don't love it as much as I did when I first initially smelled it because I think it smells so kind of unique and different to me. Yeah, I like I like the scent. I do like the scent. Um, as far as notes, hmm, let's see. If I can give you the notes in the right quick. Not give you the notes in the right quick though. Sorry about that. But anyway, as I'm pulling up the notes, yeah, this this is something you will smell unique. I feel like it's something that's probably, I guess, okay, it would be a great date night. Um, somebody close up on you, one of those type of scents. I feel like it's good for that. But other than that, as far as like being out and about, it's not, I wouldn't call this, I guess, a great club banger or whatever however people say I don't think it's for that I don't I don't feel the best about it in, in cold water cold weather either so this Atkinson's <clears throat> the main accords it says it's fresh warm spicy aromatic wood citrus smoky soft spicy and earthy Launched in 2017. Uh, the nose behind this fragrance is Julie. Looks like Pluche. The top notes are white pepper, grapefruit, citruses, lemon, lemon, and floral notes. Middle notes of licorice, nutmeg, cardamom, and pimento. Base notes of vetiver smoke, cedar, amber, and musk. Now me, I love licorice in my personal life. Uh, can I say that I could pull out the note of licorice on this? 
No, I'm a person who buys uh, real essential oils, a lot of essential oils or whatever for medicinal purposes. Now, I find a lot of this funny because when I smell a lot of these things and read these notes and whatnot, none of this smells like what those things actually, I guess you could say, smell like. So I definitely find that funny. I love vetiver and fragrances. I have some natural vetiver. Doesn't smell the best <laughs> by itself. Doesn't smell the best. I definitely get some of the spice from the white pepper. I definitely get that. I get definitely some of that lemon. It's the lemon and the floral. Uh, it's a sweet. It's sweet. It's bright. It's bright. This gives me. Springtime. This definitely gives me springtime. Uh, in the 41 Burlington Arcade, it's named after the new address of the shop in London. Okay? And they say it's labeled as a dark aromatic fragrance, fragrance with a prominent licorice note belonging to the emblematic collection. So, I'm a licorice guy, so this is a licorice note. And that might be why I don't know. Uh, I really can't distinguish what it is because I haven't seen too many fragrances that are listed as having licorice in them. So, just a thought, just an idea. Uh, but this is Burlington 41 Arcade. Would I buy this? I think this I think this costs about 200 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't pay $200 for this. No, I would not pay $200 for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like it. It's cool, but not worth 200 4.2 out of 5 stars on um, Fragrantica so that's really it man that's really it good scent it's okay decent scent on good as a stretch decent scent it's alright for where I'm at spraying it on coming into work or whatever um, I work at a warehouse I'm kind of usually clothed up or whatever so this isn't something that you can really just smell like that but I don't I don't want to be in here smell like warehouse either so you know and actually I might have misspoke either the lady misquoted me because I am looking now I do see uh she just looks like I see a 3.3 ounce uh, 100 ml bottle or whatever it is looks like 109 bucks And it look like that might be on eBay though, so. Yeah, so. But, you know, I won't be dropping any links for this product because it's not the best to me, so. I really truly don't care about it that much. I just hopped on for a few seconds just to see really what I want to start doing. Little videos like this with the background that's going on in my job. Uh, just taking a little five, 10 minutes just to get my little spill on something. Uh, but yeah, and that's Burlington 41 Arcade by Atkinson's. Uh, this is Thick Smoke Media. Reviews, man. We out of here.